Okay, so today I'm going to make a video and show you all how I make the reindeer out of the fish bowls. And you can see he's really cute. So let's get started. And what you're going to need is two of the fish bowls. One is slightly bigger than the other. The large size is 3.875 inches and the smaller size is 3.50 inches. So that'll, when you go to Dollar Tree and you're looking for them, you'll know roughly about what size they are and you're going to need some chocolate glitter and his it's a pom-pom for his nose and a red one for the tip and you're going to need a pattern for his antler and this one I just went on the internet and I typed in um, reindeer antler cartoon and I set set it to print for wallet size and it'll print it out for you. You just cut it out. You're going to need some ribbon for his little scarf and for his hat these also came from Dollar Tree. These are the ones that they came out with this year. They're really cute. There's also a uh, flannel looking one. Um, I happen to like the black ones. I thought they were prettier. So what you're going to do is just like the snowman is you're going to get some mop and glow or any floor wax. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking why the mop and glow. It's quick. It's easy. When it dries it stays in place. Uh, it, it just trying to modge podge it or paint glue inside of the bowl you get streaks and it's heavier in some areas you can uh, leave the the hats and things unglued and put lights inside of them to light them up and it just has a, a an even look about it versus you know thicker in some places heavier in others so that's why I use the mop and glow. Anyway, you're going to put it in the bowl and spin it around and set it off to drain for just a second. And you can go ahead and do your next one. And once this floor wax uh, dries. It's it's in there. I mean, it's it's not gonna flake off, and uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna slide out, or it's it's like a glue. It stays in place. Set that one over there to drain, and you're just gonna take your glitter and dump some in there and swirl it around. You see it gives it a nice nice coat. Just keep spinning it all the way to the edge. Tap out any extra. And you can see it's it's nicely coated in there. Take and do the next one. Go all the way to the edge. Without any extra. 
and then you can just take and pour it right back in your little container for the next project. You're going to take the little one and set it right on top of the top one. And go right around with your hot glue. take a little red pom-pom and glue it to your brown one. And then you're going to glue it to the face. Just like that. I'm going to take whatever ribbon you choose. I have some red sparkly and some that says Merry Christmas. So you're just going to cut off a section of it and wrap it around where his neck would be. Just give it a little touch of glue in the back just to hold it in place. For his antlers, there's several different ways that you can do it. You can do it with chenille stems if you want. Uh, if you don't have a printer or uh, can't find what you're looking for as far as a pattern, you can just twist up a few chenille stems and use those for his antlers. They look just as cute. Uh, you're going to need some tan and then you're going to need some darker brown for his antler. And you're going to need two. You're going to need a front and a back so for each side. So I just put it on there. You can trace around it or you can cut around it. Just holding the pattern in place. doesn't have to be perfect.
Now you have the two pieces cut out. And you're going to take a piece of wire. I use floral wire. Nobody's going to see it. And you're going to measure how long it is. You're going to open it up. Let me see if I can zoom it in a little bit. This is your antler and you're just going to open it up and you're going to glue that wire inside. And this is going to allow you to bend his antler in whatever shape that you want to put it in. You want to bend them forward a little bit or back a little bit or twist it off to the side. or It also gives a little bit of sturdiness when you glue it to his head. And it's not just felt kind of flopping there. You're just going to glue it. Press it together. And when you glue it to his head, you're going to bend the end of it. And this is the piece that you're going to glue to his head right here. Right there. So that one's done. Open it up. Measure how big you need your wire. And just glue it into place. So you have your two antlers, just like that, and he needs some ears.
This is the inside piece. So you're going to glue down the inside piece. And this is little ears. Put a little glue in the middle and fold it. So that's what it's going to look like. Do the same thing to the other one. Just hold it until it Cools. And you're going to take and just a little dab of and stick it to the antler. Now the piece that you folded over is going to go towards the back so make sure you glue it to the, the front side of the antler. So now you have this. You're going to need a little bit of E6000. You're going to put the E6000 on because it takes a little bit for it to set up. So you're just going to put a little dab and a little bit of hot glue. Now the hot glue will hold it in place until the E6000 sets up. So you're just going to hold it there for a second until it's cool and you're going to do the next one. You're just going to put a little dab of <coughs> E6000 and a little bit of hot glue right next to it and stick it right on there. And this is what you've got so far. Now you can adjust his ears however you need to. You can bend the antlers forward or just however you like them. And again, if you you want, you can do the the antlers with the chenille stems. And I actually have a cricket that I cut my faces out of. So this is what I do with how I do mine. Just put the sticker right on there. little mouth. And you can glue his hat on if you want. If you don't, 
Uh, you can leave it open. It will allow you to put a little candle in it and you can light up his face or you can glue it down and it just be a decoration. So this is what he looks like and that's Rudolph. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video and see you next time.